Hi, I have on the bench here in front of me a professional compression tool uh, for use with compression F connectors that are available on the tvtrade.ie website. Now, it's part of a, a range of compression tools we have. This one is particularly good because it has a ratchet action um, and it's easier to use over a prolonged period. Um, so I'll just give you a quick overview of the features of it. So you can see anyway, there's some writing on the front of it, just to say that there's a cutting action here and it's suitable for both uh, RG6, which is satellite cable, and RG59, which would be normally used in the um, uh, CCTV security camera industry, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna show here is just the cutting blades here. So we have a type of ratchet action here. So if we, if we had an uneven cut in the cable, we want to cut it here, we just put the cable in, and like that, it'll just snip it off, and it gives a very even uh, cut like that, okay? And the compression part helps here. So what I'm just gonna do is, I'm just gonna give a quick overview now of the difference really between a compression F, uh, which this tool is designed for use with, and an ordinary twist on F connector. So normally the standard in the industry, simply because it's cheap and simple to use, is a twist on F connector, where we get a satellite cable, uh, we pair it down, we twist on an F connector, and we use that for our connection. And normally it's okay. Um, uh, the, the advantage, we'll say, of uh, the compression F is it gives a much better fit onto the cable. It serves the same purpose, but the disadvantage of, of using F connectors is that um, they're much more expensive and also, we'll say, they, um, you need a compression tool with it, okay? So what I'm going to start off here, I'm just going to show how we're going to use this tool to put on a compression F connector. So what I'm going to start off here is about 20 millimeters down along this cable. I'm going to do a series of cuts through the sheet on the outside of the cable. And then I do a cut at an angle to that. So there. And I'll just take off this file wrap here. And I'm going to just wrap this in a piece of copper in a clockwise direction. So this is copper braiding on the outside. So you have copper braiding on the outside and towards the center, uh, inside this dielectric here, what we're actually going to have is we're going to have uh, the copper or the copper coated. Uh, aluminium depending on, on the grade of cable. So this, uh, the and key point here is when we're doing this we need to make sure that the braiding on the outside does not touch the core on the center because if it does. So if we're using this with an F connector we just a twist on, we just put it in, twist it into location there and we want the, the copper here in the center to be just a little bit pronounced uh, past the top of the F connector. Now if we come in and use it with the F connector here the key points to notice here is that there's an outer a metal casing here and there's a plastic inner insert and there's sort of a gap here in between uh, where th there's room for this actual casing when pressure comes on it when we're compressing it, it'll slide into position. Now if we looked inside the F connector itself, what we'll see is the compression F connector is there's a metal housing in there and what will happen here is that the core wire goes inside it and the braiding on the outside uh, will be what will happen is that central core inside will slip in between the braiding and the outer sheet. Uh, so when we compress it, it'll lock very tightly in position. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to actually push this into position here. So I can just guide it in like this and just push it on. And we can see here the cable is after pushing right through. Now we can see here that the amount of copper being exposed here in the center is far more than we actually need. So I'm just going to do a quick snip at this point. Now I'll come and actually use it with the compression tool. So we have the cable, or we have the connector put onto the cable at this point, even before we bring it over to the tool here. So what we simply do is, um, there's a hollow in the center of this, so it allows the core wire to slot into it. And then we just push it in. And what we can see here, it's after locking into position here. And what we can do here is you can just push in. And what's gonna happen during this process is that the, um, the actual plastic sleeving here, the inner part, as we compress it, it'll be pushed up and compressed. So the overall length of the connector will become much shorter and it'll lock into position, okay? So what we're gonna do here is just tilt it slightly. And you can see it's pushing up there, hopefully you can see it closer. And now it's locked. And you can see the ratchet action. And when it's gone to a certain point, it's there. When we pull this cable back out, and we pull this connector now, we can see it's absolutely locked into position, okay? So it's given a much, much tighter thing. And the reason that we'd want to use a, a tool like this, let's we'll say in conjunction with this connector is, if we're doing a high-end uh, finish and we want to make it look good, this is good. If we're putting in connectors, we we'll say at the back of the television box, where the 
it's been pulled out constantly and we want to make sure when we're hoovering or whatever that it won't pull off. This is it. And also I would say use a tool like this if you're continuously working with it because the ratchet action is great. You'll find that um, we'll say if you're putting together a head end system where you have loads of um, F connectors in, in, a, in a comms room or something, using compression Fs is absolutely essential. Okay, Otherwise it'll just drive yourself crazy with things. Although, having said that, then the F connector, the, the cheap one there, uh, twist on it, is still dominant in the industry for simple installations. So that's it now. Uh, the compre this one here I quite like it. Uh, we also sell on the TV Trade website this compact uh, compression tool, which has the base, same basic principle. It's not quite, um, it's a little bit more forceful, it doesn't have the ratchet action. It's actually slightly easier to use and comes at a lower cost and gives an equally good finish. So both are available on the TV Trade.ie website.